So I'm very aware that I'm uh, the only thing that stands between you and lunch, so I'm trying not to take too long. Um, <laughs> and I do have a, uh, very few slides and um, some talking points here. So does anyone know anything about Bahrain? I hope most of you have heard of Bahrain, except for the one Bahraini that's also in the room. <laughs> okay, does anyone know how big it is? Land size, land area. No, no, you were with us on the table last night, that's why you know. <laughs> it's only about 780 square me uh, thousand square meters. Uh, uh, so it's a very small island. It has a very small population of about a million and a half people. Um, it's situated in the middle of the Gulf to the east of Saudi, but nestled just north of Qatar as well. Despite its small size and population, it uh, has three mobile operators. Uh, with 130% mobile penetration in terms of users. We have 12 ISPs, out of them maybe six or seven of them are active. Um, and we also have undergone, as Betelco, uh, recently a separation of the uh, infrastructure from the services layer. So we have a separate company called Bnet, similar to how OpenReach is in the UK. Um, a little bit more about Betelco. So Betelco used to be part of the cable and wireless uh, group of companies around the world. Uh, until about 2006 or 2007. Um, we have now have a new brand called Beyond, without the D, Beyond, and that encompasses the uh, technology group of companies that Batalco represents, uh, or will represent in the future. There are four digital companies, Beyond Money, which is a fintech uh, digital bank, uh, Beyond Solutions, Beyond Cyber, for cybersecurity, Beyond Connect, as well as, sorry, I don't have any slides on this, so I'm just reading out loud. Um, some uh, operations in Jordan with a company called Omnia, in Saudi, Go Adib, uh, in the Maldives as well with a company called Durago, which used to be also cable and wireless, and some of the other cable and wireless companies called the Shore, uh, Channel Islands, uh, and Isle of Man uh, operations. So, moving on, um, a little bit of history here. So. Uh, Bahrain, the cabinet of ministers, put out a uh, tele national telecommunications plan every three to four years. And since 2000 and, uh, let me get it right, 12, they've noticed the importance of the internet to the economy and to society in general. And uh, as far back as 2016, they all saw, that the imp saw the importance of exchanging local traffic locally. And as you can see from the second part, the authority, which is the, our regulator, will make arrangements to ensure that they, need, uh, that they utilize the amount of traffic that remain within Bahrain. So with that, uh, we launched an effort with Betelco, uh, or within Betelco to establish a local peering product at that time, uh, all by ourselves. It worked out. We you know, had some success with it with some of the uh, uh, licensed operators that had an ISP license, um, but then in 2009, we launched, along with AMSIX, the Manama IX as a true internet exchange uh, for Bahrain. 2019, sorry, no, I was just being corrected. Um, you can see in this slide the difference between what the IX, uh, let's say, landscape looked like in 2013 compared to 2023. There are many more dots here. Um, the many more dots that you see in, the, in 2013 are the likes of Manam IX, Smart Hub IX, Qatar IX, um, Equinix and Mascot, Kuwait IX, as well as uh, the Saudi IXs and Jeddah IX. However, I would argue that the landscape still really looks just like it did in 2013 with two major uh, IXs in the region being UAIX, which was there at the time, the other dot that you see there is not Manam IX, because it was in 2019. It is what we have as a Bahrain Internet Exchange, or BICS. Uh, but they never really um, took off, I would say. So um, you can also see this, there has been some developments on the CDN side. So a lot of them have set up their nodes, pops, the regions, whatever they call them. Uh, it started off with Google in Amman and the UAE. Okay, then later on came the AWS region in Bahrain, where they built their own data centers, three of them in the country. Um, 
and we played, Betelco and the government obviously played a very big role in, in attracting them to, to, to Bahrain. Uh, part of that was also a very much a cloud-first policy for uh, the government uh, when it came to AWS. More recently, Microsoft have you know, done their nodes in uh, the UAE and Qatar, and as well as Oracle and Alibaba and uh, KSA in the UAE. Uh, you can see from the different graphs here, the number of users, internet users, is growing exponentially, especially in Saudi Arabia. That's a huge population for the whole region. Um, but the same trend is across the region or across the GCC countries. Um, the IP transit market is growing, I mean, in terms of capacity and everything, but we've managed to, whether you think it's a good thing or not, it depends on if you're buying or you're selling, but uh, <laughs> we're maintaining about a dollar a meg uh, in terms of IP transit pricing within the region. That does mean that a lot of the uh, IP transit co uh, pricing comes from Europe, when it, uh, long line to Europe, but that makes it very inefficient in terms of latency and user experience. Um, we as Betelco try to do a mix between regional capacity as well as uh, uh, European capacity for the purposes of trying to keep traffic not just within Bahrain but within the region. But with the advent of Manam IX, that is slowly reducing because more and more peering is happening within uh, Bahrain itself or within the region. Um, so Betelco, and but along that, those lines, Betelco have also just uh, a couple weeks ago announced officially that they are uh, very much an investor in the Simui 6 cable system, which is going from Singapore all the way to Marseille, and we are building the branch that's going to come all the way to Bahrain. Uh, along with that, we are also investing in building a separate cable system, which is called Al Khalij, to connect to Qatar, the UAE, and Oman as well. Um, as well as a large uh, data center on a 140,000 square, me square meter uh, plot of land uh, that has been or is being called the data oasis at the moment, with solar parks and all the, the bells and whistles. Uh, we've done a lot of work to grow the capacity on the IX by adding Amazon, obviously, because they're in, the re they're in country, but as well as Google, Microsoft, thankfully just before COVID because of you know, the advent of Teams. Um, and uh, we've just upgraded Google to 100 gig and we also have Meta coming on at 100 gig on the IX very soon. You can see the, the growth, I need to click this one as well. <laughs> so the growth on the IX has not been exponential in terms of number of peers, but it has been exponential in the number of, uh, in, the, in the capacity itself. We've managed, we have hit a peak of 514 gigabytes, but we have a connected number of peers over a terabyte. So in this short span of time, we've been able to um, grow the bandwidth to that level. And that brings me to the end of my slides, actually. You can reach out to us. You can find us on uh, betalco.com. Thank you. So, do we have any questions about... Uh, yes, we Ooh. do. We have a microphone being raced over to you now. Nothing too difficult, please. <laughs> Handheld mic. Hello. Yes, there we Could go. you go back to the slide with the number of broadband subscriptions per 100 inhabitants? Because there seemed to be a huge drop in Bahrain in 2009 or so? I think that's We're because... Just wondering uh, what happened there. That was because this also counts mobile subscriptions. So mobile subscriptions re reduced uh, just the way they, they count the number. But so yeah, we are, uh, in terms of home broadband connections, it's on the rise uh, and it's, not, I would say, over 90% fiber broadband in the country at the moment. So we have speeds up to uh, one gigabyte uh, up to the home each and every house, household. And that comes along with the separation piece that we talked about earlier. You're very welcome. And, yeah, no, 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 you okay. can shut that if you want. Just uh, on, on that slide where you talked about the latency issues, I'm wondering, uh, since the IX has been in operation, have you done any latency tests for local traffic and, and, and or hops or, or? We encourage to 
peer with each and every operator. In the past, um, I don't have any statistics at the top of my head, but mm -hmm. yeah, you can tell from uh, many reports that a lot of the traffic that used to be from Bahrain to Bahrain used to hit, traverse Europe, yes. yeah. uh, and the same goes across the region. I know that uh, the UAX had done many of those studies in the past. Um, but no, we do peer with every, anyone who's on the IX and okay. uh, peer openly without any restrictions at all. Yeah. So okay. That, that's My, yeah, I mean, just a plug, I don't work for them anymore. The RIPE NCC with their RIPE Atlas probes, you might yes. want to yes. do some benchmarking. And, you know, I had one of those in the office that stopped working there after a while, but anyway. Yeah. Check it out and <laughs> have a look. Okay, any other questions? We do have another one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, You're not allowed to ask any questions. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I, I just want to add a fact. Uh, my son was playing Fortnite before we have that yes, IX right. and after the IX and, and the latency was hitting the 100 millisecond and he was screaming at me, why is internet so bad? Because I was working in the telecom company. Yep. Okay, and you're the ISP. And then when the IX came and Amazon was there and the, the ping, what they call it, the ping, dropped to... One, one or two, or two milliseconds, yeah. and he was so happy. Yeah. So that's yeah. one of the achievements of the most powerful IX. We used to joke region. about this all the time about no, our kids I, and all that. I, so yeah. I only just <laughs> learned what this number means on the screen when my boy's playing it. He, yeah. He's telling me about things. I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, no, clever. Okay. Any anyone else? No. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you.